In this problem, we are being asked to factor this quadratic. And it's a little bit challenging. It doesn't have a coefficient of 1 on the x squared term. It has a coefficient of 8. Um, so we're going to have to use some trial and error, try out some possible combinations. The, the x terms are going to have some factor of 8. So the x terms could be 1 and 8, so x and 8x, or they could be um, 2 and 4. And uh, or the other orders of those, 4 and 2 and 8 and 1. Now the, the numbers that come after the x are going to be factors of this. So 1 and 7, or negative 1 and negative 7. And I, I suppose I could have brought in negatives for the, um, the coefficient of the x squared term, but that would just complicate matters unnecessarily. We can keep those positive and then uh, deal with the signs on the other term. Uh, I know that this is actually going to be negative 1 and negative 7. I know that because they need to multiply out to a positive 7, but after you multiply them by our x term, we need to add up to a negative 15. So these guys are going to be negative. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill those in, a negative 1 and a negative 7. Those are my only choices, luckily. Now what I need to do is play around with uh, versions of the uh, 1 and the 8 and the 2 and the 4, so that this will foil out correctly to make this this um, this quadratic. So oh, what happens? Let's just ask what happens if I put in a one x and an eight x right here. So in this case, the the middle term is going to be coming from the outside terms multiplied and the inside terms multiplied and add them together. I get x times negative seven. That's negative seven x. And I get negative one times eight x. That's negative eight x. Ah, that adds up to negative 15x. I got lucky there. Uh, the first uh, trial here add, added up to the correct thing. So these are our factors. But really, it wouldn't have been too tough if I had tried you know, 8 and 1 instead of 1 and 8, and 2 and 4, or 4 and 2 first. I would have to go through a few trials uh, before I landed on the right one. If you want to convince yourself that these are indeed the factors, just go ahead and foil this out. You'll end up with 8x squared minus 15x plus 7. So that's a little bit of work with factoring a slightly more complicated quadratic expression.